But eventually the stars should just stop. Shouldn't they? Hello everyone, Thoranx is here and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 123, where we have this weird bug with our large refiner once again, giving us free cadmium. Exciting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and empty this out though and get to processing all of this platinum because why nanites? That's why we're going to need lots and lots of nanites when it comes time to upgrade our ships because we are going to find a nice ship eventually uh also uh, we need to process some of this hydrogen jelly dihydrogen jelly in order to be able to make more fuel look at it all i suppose we could lay this out there we're not going to have much inventory space in our freighter for these expeditions to wrap up but we need to wrap them up nonetheless all right, let's debrief the commander. So let's see, we've got uh, units, 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 Corvax casing, units, emerald, more units, units, units. This must be our, this was our balanced, huh? Dirty Brond, activated Indium, Gek Relic, Viking, Dagger, and lots more units. Okay. Packet of toxic bugs, 857 years old. The sample has sprouted several additional samples, seedlings that have rapidly germinated and begun growing since their host was once exposed to light and air. Interesting. Now let's sell all of these things because reasons. I don't see a reason to not sell them. Oh, of course, right, no, we're going to sell them straight from the freighter. Wouldn't, isn't that just going to be so handy? from the freighter. So let's sell the dirty bronze. No, the activated indium for sure. Gek relics, daggers. I mean, I don't see a reason to hold on to those. Activated emerald. We're not at a place where we can use this stuff yet, so we still got this dirty bronze. Nah, I don't necessarily want to sell that. But I did mean to sell the Corvax casing, to be sure. Now, I don't necessarily want to sell the Dirty Bronze because I believe there is a recipe that uses those that we have learned recently. Um, perhaps not. But I suppose it is worth looking at. Still need that semiconductor. We're getting close. We're getting close to be able to... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Geodesite. It just requires some Herox. Right. Well. I'm not sure why it's letting me craft with Lemium unless there is some loaded up in the starship here. Uh, this platinum I think we'll just hold on to. That's fine. Gold, gold, pyrite, blah, blah, blah. Lemium, of course. So, in an effort to conserve our space, let us find some... Oh, oh, this carbon crystal doesn't need to be here. So I think we'll put the quad servo there instead so we can start holding on to the quad servos. Geodesite, magna gold, grantine, thermic condensate. We just don't have any good room for this. We don't have any Herox stored here. Interesting. That means all of our Herox is stored on one of the starships. I think we're just going to sell it. It doesn't seem to be that difficult to get more. All right, so we'll sell the packet of bugs. And the carbon crystal. We can break that down in the condensed carbon. And we should, we should. Still holding on to that rare element. We don't need this cadmium. Yeah, we'll sell the dirty bronze. Why not? We need to clean things out. I'm 
process all this dihydrogen. I think at this point, I'm just going to process all of this dihydrogen, and we'll just skip ahead to when we're ready to warp. I don't want to eat up any more time in this episode, because if I, by now we've, we've seen this process enough that it's nothing new, and it's starting to feel repetitive, so we're going to skip it. I'll bring you right back as soon as we're ready to warp. Okay, so we've done all of our refining, and we gathered up all of the stuff from our expeditions. About the only thing that we're going to keep was some geodesite. Uh, the rest we're going to go ahead and sell, including these duckwort bulbs, and uh, what else? We grabbed some... I ended up pulling some... Uh, well, we got some aronium I don't really care about. We've already got a good bit of that at storage. Same with the magna gold. I pulled some nitrogen salt out of storage. We're going to sell that just to make some room. Still going to sit on these rare metal elements, and I think that is our inventory looking rather clean. Uh, these are going to be saved. These are going to be saved. These are going to be sold. We still have lots of room in our cargo. Well, I guess not lots, but that represents quite a bit of storage. And we have Mordite that we can afford to harvest, so I think we're going to do that. Oh, please. Mordite. I don't know. The 25 apiece doesn't seem like very much, though. I'm inclined to say we're going to need more Mordite plants. More Mordite root. Uh, let's see. What would it take to actually make a second large hydroponic tray? Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. I think we should. I do. I think we should. Okay. We can always pull it up, right? There's no harm in, in throwing it down there. I would like to get some more Mordite growing. There we go. Okay. Mordite is planted and ready to go. Uh, do we need to grab more Coprite? We don't really use it as much, but I wouldn't mind having a full stack. It doesn't make sense to not have a full stack. We're going to carry it in our cargo space. And uh, the next thing on the agenda that I wanted to do, let's verify these are empty. We didn't leave anything behind. Okay, good. They are. Now the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to check our, our specialists here and see if they're going to continue to offer us quests or if they're going to be bugged. No, they're going to work. Okay, excellent. Then we'll take more free nanites. Um, sure... Uh, we'll check the uh, we'll check the multi tool of the day. Okay, good. They're working. Finally, decline. They're working. That is uh, that is really good to see. Toil gex sadokavai. I'm sure you just let me know what you're looking for. Agricultural samples of what? Gamma root. I knew there was a reason I left this stuff here. Piece of cake. You couldn't have done that yourself. I mean, come on. I know I, I don't. Well, I'm not really paying you, but I feel like you could have walked over there. You could have harvested that. Whoa, two thousand years old. What's the price tag on these? Oh, 1.2 million. Oh, we're gonna break the hundred million units mark before long. Yes, we are. Sure, I'll take some pictures for you. Good, I'm glad they're giving me missions now. That's that's good. It was bothersome that they weren't on the freighter. It really diminished the value of having them here. I guess it just goes to show you that up with the updates that come out regularly, you can't take it for granted that things remain broken. You have to check. So we need a picture of a tropical world. I think we can manage that, since that's what we're looking for. Let's dispatch some expeditions. We're taking a little bit of time before our next thing. Balanced, balanced. Let's send them on the long one. Yeah, balanced. So we made a lot more fuel. Oh, we have our S-Class Trade Galleon now. Look at that. I love it. And then combat. And support, exploration, industrial. Good night. Is that even really needed? 
Uh, do we want to send them? I feel like we should. We should just obliterate this thing. I wonder what we have to do to get higher difficulty expeditions. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll launch it. Why not? I wouldn't mind seeing some higher difficulty expeditions, though. Let's see. Two-star industrial. Let's see what that looks like. Industrial, industrial, industrial support. Three-star for a two-star. Launch. Alright, last but not least... Let's see, two star trade. Let's do some of that. Trade, 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 support. Three star for a two star, and launch. Excellent! Everybody will get some experience. I think we'll take the kill nine monstrosities for nanites. Ooh, that could be fun. Let's do that. Sure, the coward's way out. Doesn't sound like something a coward would do. Okay, ready to warp. Let's get a look at our galactic map here. So we're going towards the galactic center a little bit. We could just select stars in this area. No, perhaps we should we should be pushing in closer with each. I mean, look at them all. It's it's virtually impossible. Hold on. I'm curious. Let's just travel up until we can't travel up anymore. It's bound to stop at some point, right? There's bound to be a border. <laughs> Look at this madness. This is overwhelming. This is intimidating. Eventually, we're bound to get to the edge, right? Are you kidding me? No, straight up. There's just more and more stars. It really never ends. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, there's got to be an end. There must be an end. Wow, you really can never see it all. You just, you'll never see it all. If I hold down shift, oh, it does let me go fast. Come on. We're bound to get to the edge eventually, right? We're going to do it. Are you kidding me? So it's not like a disk galaxy. It is like a sphere galaxy, sort of how the graphic indicates. But eventually the stars should just stop. Shouldn't they? Jeez. I don't even know what to think. Oh, oh. We've done it. We found the edge of the galaxy. We did. And how far away are we from the edge of the galaxy, I wonder? I can't even select any of these stars. Are they just are they just for visual? Oh, some of these aren't even selectable. Do you see that? Okay, so the nearest selectable stars are here. 48,000 light years. Okay, so it's 48,000 light years to the top. Now, when you compare that to the 600,000 light years from the center, it is a disk galaxy then, unless we're just near the top. But I don't think we are. I think it's crazy, though, how so many stars up here you can't even interact with. That makes me wonder if if these stars are the ones created by players. Look at all these yellow stars in this cluster here. You can't interact with any of them. Are these the ones that the Atlas has created? 
Wow. Okay, well, now that we've had our little detour, let's find a destination we actually want to travel to. Okay, it looks like we have found our winner. We have a Corvax system with an opulent economy, roughly 1,300 light years towards the center of the galaxy. It's got water, only four planets, but that's okay. If those four planets fit the bill, this could be our new home, potentially. But at the very least, it's going to be a place to grab a fancy new ship. So let's do the thing. The Needling System. Oh, nice teal nebula. That makes for some interesting night skies. Explorer. Working on that that warp milestone. Very, very good. Okay, let us do like the name suggests, and let us go explore a bit, shall we? Data injection, sequence received, source unknown. What's happening? What? the heck is that? How is it this game always seems to surprise me? I'm so... Uh, I just... I don't know what that data received... data injection received means, but... I am absolutely inclined to take the fighter out for a spin. Oh, really? Data injection received. I have no clue what any of that means. No, but before we do any of that nonsense, let us get on board the space station. Whoa, whoa! If we can settle down. Good night. Ugh. Okay, well. Still very confused as to what's going on. That's okay. Let's let's see if there's any easy quests we can accept here. Fifty cactus flesh, three ancient keys, take a photo of a desert world. That sounds fairly simple. All this other stuff requires deliveries or... Yeah, no, I'm not interested. A lot of haulers on this uh, system. I would have expected being Corvax, we'd see some explorers, but... All of the ships pulling in here are haulers and shuttles. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the multi-tool available here. Truce of the Trace of the Wind. Hmm, learn to read. Wow, it absolutely has more space, but again, it's hard to justify replacing an S for an A. Although it is going to give us eight more slots, I don't think I can pull the trigger on that, pun intended. Um, because it is still just going to be a placeholder until we get our S class multi tool, so we're obviously not there yet. Um, we can look at what kind of starship modules we have. We can also sell some of these modules if we don't need the movement module or the C-Class pulse engine. Look at that. No S-Class modules here? For shame. Shame on you. What about you? Scatter Blaster, Blaze Javelin. I don't know which weapon I want to settle on yet for my future multi-tool. Uh, I think we will get ourselves an engine and a boost, though, if they're available. For the Nomad. Yeah, we'll hold on to that. Sure. I mean, we have the Nanites. Yeah, we do. 5,000 Nanites. Hmm. Data injection received. Uh, 
I'm trying to see if there is a quest somewhere on here to possibly inform me as to what it is. Prior to me going and trying to look it up. I suppose we should hand in missions here. Yeah, scan five plants. Sure, we'll take some of those nanites back. Thank you very much. Alright, and I guess we should try to learn some of the local language with all of our copper. No. Oh, you don't want to give me any any words. Shake hands, one health. Yeah, sure, I'll shake hands. Life form discharges and overload. The pain is intense. They thank me with a gift. So I gave up one health for 17 nanites and a little bit of rep. Oh, uh, okay. They're like, please, I need to shock you to to off to off charge my systems. They're arcing. It's a little little questionable of a practice there. I wonder if they would have done that to another Corvax. They only did it to me because they knew I was biological and it would just be pain. <laughs> I'll cough. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... No, no, no. Okay, I'm just going to compliment. That's good. I want to get underway. I want to see what sort of planets we have in this system. And I guess... Uh... Well, son of a gun, before we should do that and start scanning planets, we should likely... I guess we should likely call the Space Anomaly and see if the data injection we received has something to do with Nada and Polo. Ooh, look at this planet. A freezing planet with activated copper and water. Okay, that's a little fun. Oh, don't you fight with me. I'm trying to dock. Initiate docking procedure. <laughs> Did you say collision procedure? No. <laughs> docking procedure, please. But Captain, we're pretty sure you want to run into this thing. No. I do not. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you guys are going to have the same thing here, yeah, that they had at the other place. Right? Wait, wait, wait. No, it says Trensk's Polygon Translator. It's not the same. It looks the same, but it is not the same. All right, Priest Entity Nada. Will you give me the... No, I don't want any of this. Just give me resources, please. Transmit my milestone data, and I'll take the nanites. Sure. Hey, it's more nanites. Great. How about you, Polo? How are you doing? Needs no assistance just yet. They are keen that I continue my exploration, however, and offer a range of technologies to further this cause. Are you not? Well, give me the ship technology. Further and see it all. Cyclotron module. Positron module A. I mean, that's nanites. Okay. So, hold hold the phone. Are you not... Signal detected anomaly. Speak to specialist Polo. Oh, okay. I just had to have the quest active. It was a tale of wonder. We saw many different planets. I accept. I will find this data for you. Pulse Engine Module C. Hey, thank you for giving me all of these nanites. I love it. One day you're scraping by, barely with enough nanites to make it to the upgrades you want. And then the next day, you're just swimming in nanites. Uh, give me another Starship technology, actually. Another Pulse Engine Module. Oh, okay. I guess, realistically, I should have done that first... 
Ah, but there's no... There's nothing to hint... Let's see. The Atlas Path says nothing. The Purge wants me to go to the center of the galaxy. No idea what the data injection is from. Okay. Let's see what sort of planet we have here. A charred planet with salvageable scrap and activated copper. Ooh. Also with water. This is a fun little system. If only there was a tropical planet. I don't think there is, though. A dusty planet. And what have we here on the dark side of this planet? This one could be tropical. It's hard to tell from here. It looks irradiated. Right. Well, this is still an opulent Corvax system. Let's explore this icy planet. This could be a good system to take our nomad into. Or a good planet to take our nomad into. Lots of little lakes. Freezing cold. We'll get some of that extreme planet time built back up so we can be working on that milestone. Plus storm crystals. Oh, 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 oh. There it goes. Wow. At the forests. Hmm. Let's scan for a trade outpost. No, I think what we're going to do... Okay, so I'm looking at the time for this episode. This episode's actually going to be over shortly. So I think what I'm going to do, because I'm, I'm about ready for a nice exploration ship, is we're going to take this time in between episodes um, to set up and go ship shopping. So what I'm going to do, because I'd also like to look up what this data injection was, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... Oh, my. This asteroid field is a little thick. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of our old ships that we would very much like to get rid of. Whoa! Straighten out! Whoa. See, that's what makes me worried about VR. Yikes. Maneuvers like that. Hmm. <laughs> Anywho, uh, we're going to grab one of our ships that we got a long time ago that really is not serving any purpose other than storage, and we're going to trade it in. So whichever one has the most that we can afford to trade in. Let's see. Uh, Lemium, Herox, Magma Gold, Grantine, Tetra Cobalt. Yeah, that looks kind of junk. Uh, let's see. Part of the Void has got... Um, see, I would actually like to hold on to that stuff. I mean, it doesn't matter. Really, what we need is like an S-Class hauler with all the space, and then we won't have to worry about any of this, but... Let's just transfer all of this stuff preemptively. And Corvax casings. So we'll be able to take these down to the planet side. Right? And then, once we get down to the planet, we'll be able to trade this in um, for hopefully an, an explorer. Oh, this thing handles like a... Ugh, like a bus so obnoxious. Alright, well, we're going to pulse jump to the trading post.
looks like we've still got the blizzard going on. This will also help our extreme planet survival hanging out here at the trading post. This is going to be good. Coming in sort of fast, Thranxes. Slow down, slow down. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. See, this is why I don't want to... Okay, just initiate the landing sequence, for crying out loud. <laughs> just, just get me off of that thing. Ugh. Frequent blizzards, you say. I extreme, extreme storm. I believe this is an extreme storm. Or no, the storm is ending, but it is still extreme. I don't know, we'll have to see. I don't know if there's going to be storm crystals here or not. I don't see any. It could be that the storms are not that extreme here. Look at all these... Look at all these shuttles. I thought Corvax systems were explorers, but... Shuttles seems like mostly here on this planet. That's bizarre. Could just be coincidence. Whoa! Giant octopus creatures. There's the A class hauler. Not what we're looking for. Let's get our temperature levels stabilized. Come on, scan. Very nice. Okay, it's absolutely a rather cold planet. Like, no explorers, though. We might have chosen the wrong system. Oh, I bet it has to do with the economy, not the life form. I thought it had to do with the life form. Hold on. Let's let's just pe take a peek here. So this system is a commercial economy. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. I'll go ahead and learn a few words while we're here. Ugh, fine. I shall give you applause. Chemist Entity Vichnieo, um, you also don't want to teach me anything, do you? And how about you? Would you... Yes, dialect help. Thank you. Oh, look, there's an explorer. B class 26 plus 7. Alright, well, so there are explorers on this system. We've verified they do, in fact, exist. Just a lot more shuttles. Hmm. So now, it does say extreme storm, but it's only minus 121. And I know what you're saying, only? But I don't think that's cold enough to represent a storm crystal planet. Nope. They do exist. Okay. So then my theory was correct. As long as it says extreme storm while the storm is happening... And there will be storm crystals, even if the temperature is not as high as you're used to seeing. Wow, okay, so... Lots of shuttles, lots of haulers in this system. And lots of giant birds and creatures. It's a, it's a peculiar system with frequent blizzards and these super dense forests. Yep, there's those storm crystals right over there. That is an ugly explorer. I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm not a fan of a lot of these ships I'm seeing in this system. Well, you don't you don't hit a home run every time your first time, but we're going to hang out here for a little bit. And we're just going to try and see what pops up. I suppose what we'll do is we'll give the Corvax casings here to our friend Data and De uh, Divine Atlas Entity Olvi. 
Um, but that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. And I'm going to stay here a little bit. And I'm just going to see what sort of ships come down. And if we find one that seems like it's going to be worth our hard-earned money, I will start the next episode. And if I don't, then... Um, I don't know. We'll likely go looking for manufacturing facilities. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching because, as always, I had a good time playing. Come back next episode to find out what we end up doing. But until then, take care.